Hello, everybody. Welcome to First Glance Cyber Red Carpet. <laughs> That's right. We like I have I have the red. I have. Oh my God, this is Esther. I have like a red oven mitt right here. <laughs> what you can't see is that I'm wearing red track pants. So you know, I bought so, a red to the party. I have a red. I have a red notebook. So no, it's pretty yeah, much the same. <laughs> Um, guys, we are going to be talking about Bloomy Wood, your web series, um, which I saw yesterday, um, and I laughed out loud, um, like, all the way through it. Um, it was so brilliant. Um, I also felt slightly depressed because it just made me relive all my horrific uh, personal Hollywood encounters, um, but it was great. David, the character's so, there's something about the Larry David about him. I don't know, I felt like a little bit uncomfortable, but then I was laughing. Um, there's something about his naivety and this like unbridled hope that was just so endearing. And I wanted to take you under my wing and also like slap you around the face at the same time. Um, how much of, of you are we seeing in this? Is this you, is this David Myers? Is it um, personal experience or is it just wry observations? Um, I, th I think it's a combination of both. The idea for the show, I was having uh, like coffee with a friend of mine and I just told him I'd come from an audition where I waited an hour and a half to go in. And then the minute I, like right before I went in, the director decided he had to go and left. No. So like I so I just went in for like a casting person they just like weren't interested and I told him the story and you know he's a writer and I'm like man like all the stuff uh, you go through you know trying to live your dream and so I th it's definitely inspired by my experience and then it's also just wry observation that sometimes it feels like maybe you need to stand outside claim jumper restaurant with the script in order to get someone to read it um and the characters some of the characters are these people again are these people that you have encountered in your in your day-to-day -day life as an actor in the industry or is there a little bit of artistic license just i want to know i want to get all the dirt i want to dish it um i well the the career coach oh, that's was yeah she's she's amazing i've had so many people ask me it's terrifying well well actually like both like krishna and colleen are so good that people like didn't some people ask like wait is this an actor or is this actually okay. a real, real person so there's so, so many real people on the show like it's so brilliant yeah <laughs> Uh, um, so I should say that David uh, David is the writer and also act, uh, actor acting in it, and Krishna um, is acting in it. But Krishna, I want to implore, applaud the acting in this web series because honestly, uh, we didn't run it like fifteen minutes or something. Like for a good twelve of them, I was like, are they actors? Are they, are they real people? Like my, I couldn't quite understand, and I was like. At the end, by as like two minutes before the end, I was like, "Oh, I think they're just really good actors." And it like blew my mind. It was so natural uh, and engaging. How did you guys get to that? Like, is it scripted, improvised? What's your process? It it is kind of it is like semi scripted and then based off an outline and then on the talents of people you know, like well and there's only two actors it's Krishna and Colleen and they're so good I so when we first edited so Krishna's in two episodes and also I guess wrote uh, wrote some of it from her <laughs> improv and then also wrote wrote the joke at the end of the uh, first episode that she's in where I get excited because I think I met Mindy Kaling uh, <laughs> which I I slightly feel guilty about that joke but it was christmas so i don't feel that I don't feel, he was like, he was I don't like is that okay to say is that i don't i'm like ah yeah the joke <laughs> we're in on it yeah um, and it's funny that you brought up larry david because it is I, it feels really similar to i think the way that curb your enthusiasm works where he has the outline and there's like points to hit for the actors like david told me it was like oh like and let's like make sure we hit this we want to get a note of caring and, and stop me at some point as I'm rambling. Um, but from there, it's just like, we just took it in different directions and just did lots of takes. But, oh, but, 
but Krishna <laughs> is so talented that when we edit it, so when we edited the first episode she's in where I meet her, someone's <laughs> roommate came in and said, wow, you picked up a girl. <laughs> and then... And then when that when we released that episode, I had numerous people tell me the same thing that they thought it was. You know, some people realize, oh, it's probably what are the odds? It has to be an actor. But yeah. genuinely, a lot of people thought that she was a real person that I met. Uh, and then in that in the episode where it's just four minutes of me and her, I think you know. But even then, like the acting, so good, it's totally maybe you don't know. But it's also so funny because, you, I mean, you act the same way with actors and with, with strangers. That's what I was like. I was like, I can't believe that you have the guts to, like, just go up to strangers and just be improv like this with people. And, and to do it and to do it well and to do it funny, like, I was like, hats off, man. I, I, was, I was so, I was watching them and I was like, I can't. Wow, that's my biggest fear. You guys are amazing. <laughs> Um, but before I get on to that, I just wanted to, so I, you're saying that you had like a, you had an idea and you just improved around it. Correct. For me as a, as an actress, that's slightly terrifying. So do you guys have a background in improv or, or comedy? Because, you know, I'm, I'm happy to like throw in my own take on something, but like the idea of like completely going, you know, off piece is like slightly scary to me. So how did you navigate not just end up doing like 15 takes of just nonsense? Or maybe uh, you took the best bits. I don't know. How does it work? I think you know, Christian's had this thing to, like, yes, I do have that. And then also, like, this is actually my kind of favorite format i just told her i just did a reading of a play and like i watch them like oh i i you know i really like my performance in there but for me the most fun is when it's scripted off of a scenario and i, I get that a lot what you and christian said like oh i can't believe you went off on to real to real people and i would go out like into target and start doing like that just comes naturally to me. And I realized like i've just done things like that when i lived in new york i did um, improv theater mm. where it was like live improv murder mystery theater and you did it like on the streets of New York oh, wow. so like groups would come over to you and you had to improv and then like tourists would come and like police would come and be like what are you doing That's standing so here so I realized like maybe that was all just kind of you know preparation for this. I think that's such a useful skill to, to, to have as an actor in your little tool bag that's awesome yeah, that's really, yeah, it's very impressive. Um, that's so funny. Yeah, that's, <laughs> especially in New York. Yeah. yeah, I know, right? Exactly. <laughs> People are like, I can't do it. I swear. I don't know if I can swear. You know what New Yorkers are like. They're like Londoners. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, so leading on to my next question, um, it was shot guerrilla style, I'm guessing? Yeah, very guerrilla style. As perfect, for, perfect for it. I mean, it was just, it just was, so fitting. So I am curious to know about what that was like. I know you've already said that you you going up to strangers and like just you know asking them questions. Are you are you what is how does what do you how do you do that? Because it, it, it was that and like a lot of people some people we would ask like do you want are you okay being on cameras? So we had their consent and then other people we feel like there's someone there holding a camera and it's in the middle of Hollywood and I'm talking to you and like you know, give, giving your implied consent. And some people would just, you know, would just not want to participate. But actually that was one thing that surprised me. And Krishna actually only saw a little bit of our interactions with real people. But how I knew like people would like this show is because I, people always stop, like people would say like, no, 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 I can't stop. And like, but Rip, but I have a script. Is there any, you know, anything you can do? And then some of them would like come back around, even though they're like, I can't stop. They would then come back around and like start engaging like, oh, maybe there's something. And I think people are drawn to that, like the character's earnestness. I was just telling Krishna, we're about, so we had planned to do 10 episodes mm -hmm. and then COVID hit literally the week we finished Krishna's episode. So, oh, we, didn't, so we didn't get to finish. And 
we're putting together a uh, an abridged like COVID finale, and we have this actor Richard Kind, who is one of my favorite uh, actors. And I'm, I was just telling Christian, I'm like, oh, I need to you know get back into the you know this this mindset of playing, and I'm can be very like optimistic. You know, sometimes in this industry, you need to. You need to have that kind of unbridled optimism to move. I love forward. that it's not been beaten out of you yet. That's great. You just hold on. Well, to that, well, you should really talk to Krishna because that she is the most like optimistic, <laughs> like positive person. I that's not an exaggeration. So I sometimes just want to pay her just to be my like positivity. <laughs> I, I, I I never understood the law of attraction until I met. Krishna, because I once we became friends and like just started talking to him, like, oh, I see how someone like brings that energy. You're just like, well, I, you know, I want to work with that with that person. So that's so funny you say that because actually, I feel like one of the most positive people actors in Hollywood is Will Smith, who plays like a central role in your yes. movie. But he's like one. I mean, his videos. He's like so. That's like what he's all about. You know. It's and like, in- uh- I was just, oh, it's just gonna say our casting director. Is when we just we were just casting this last role. Krishna and Colleen were friends, so the best person to cast is you know friend. But for a celebrity, we, I mean, she's like, wouldn't it be great if like Will Smith saw this and like agreed to be? And I'm like, that's the dream. It's just like <laughs> pushing it out there, and maybe someone's gonna someone's gonna text it to Will. Smith. But I think he, you know, he de- when you think Will Smith, you do think of that you know positivity and. Yeah. Boy, and yeah, Will Smith is going to be my motivational. Movie. He's so motivational. Yeah. And it really makes a difference to have people like you, Krishna, on set. You know, it just makes the job much easier always. So it it yeah. does. Yeah. I, I, was, I was so she was the first and only person uh, we asked, and I and could not have found someone better. So. Oh, great. <laughs> so I didn't know that you guys um, uh, had to cut short your your um filming process because of covid so did you feel like um the story was compromised because of it or it definitely to- sadly it definitely was and like even i thought about now like do you like just pick up where you left off and i just think that's kind of, you know mm. it's just hard to get back to that place you know creatively you know and ev- everything looks yeah. different because we had this whole arc plan right where i where krishna's character kind of you know, got me off, you know, kind of, we got to see like more of the real side of the character. And then we had this whole, you know, narrative plan where he was going to go on more of a journey and, you know, and then it would launch into a potential second season. So, and that was the idea of, of just doing this kind of like abridged finale, but it, you know, like the hope, the hope, hope was like Christian's character would come back and, uh, I don't know that that's going to happen, but I'm hopeful if we're able to develop this further after the season, you know, there will be the chance to do it. But someone saw Christian's episode and they're like, I, the series is fantastic, but why did you choose to end it there? I'm like, we didn't. COVID chose to end it there. So how many episodes are there? There, there are seven finished, and then there's going to be eight. Okay, and we're okay. working on that now. But the seven is part of that first series that was going to be 10. Like we had all 10 planned out and literally everything shut down the week after we finished Krishna's episode. And then so, the, so what people will see um, um, at first glance is the pilot. It's, the, it's, it's the pilot. It's, I think it's four of the episodes together. It's the pilot, the career coach, Krishna's episode, and then me living in my closet. <laughs> There's no shame in that. Um, I would like to know uh, from you guys um, what your favorite moments were in this whole in this whole experience. Um, let's start with you, Krishna. Your uh, man. on this project. Um, I really, <laughs> I mean, I loved just um, <laughs> I loved just just improving with David. Um, with uh, Taylor and Rory, who were the the writer and the director who were there too that day in the park. I mean, it was just so fun. And we we ran it a whole bunch of times and like lots of different random things kept popping up. So that was that was just really fun. And um, 
Yeah, it was, it, it, I've never done uh, anything like this before. So it was just a really fun chance to get to play. So amazing. You do something. Is this the stuff? Oh, it's very, very uh, the Oh, sorry. Yeah, you were breaking up a little bit. I didn't hear what you said. Sounds um, a little um, crazy. Um, I was just asking whether this is the start of a, a new direction for you. Like, would you do this again? Like, Oh yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, I loved it. Like I, I was like, I was like, I felt a little nervous. Um, I, I have done improv before. You know, I have a little bit of an improv background, but I was still a little nervous in terms of like, well, you know, I um, I don't, you know, I don't know what it's going to be like. Um, but it was just so fun to do, and it was just so like, you know, and I think when you have a relationship with the people like that you're working with, it's also just, it's, it's fun to just collaborate and just bounce ideas. It's like, what if we did this? And there was a lot of that. There was, they were, everyone was just so open to collaboration. Like, Oh, how about this? Wait, something's not working here. We're not getting this turn. So what, can, what, how do we, how do we do that? And it was just an open dialogue. So, I, I mean, that. I think it's just always great when you're just making, when you're making things with, people you people you know and respect and and want to play with yeah awesome um i think same thing getting to you know getting to work with people like krishna and colleen and i'm like really proud of the product we have and then the other thing would be i think if there's a message of this thing it is you might as well go you know go and and chase your dreams and why not so if P i know a, a lot of friends i have aren't in the arts and they're like oh well i want to do this but i can and some days it seems impossible but other days it it's definitely feels yeah. worth it and then the other nice thing is that we released most of the series like right in like a big resurgence of covid Mm -hmm. And hearing people, oh, like this really like cheered me up today and this made me smile, like that was, you know, that's kind of the best feedback to get. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, it's probably launched at a time now because everyone's running out of stuff to watch. So they're like, give it, give it, to, me. Give it to me. <laughs> um, I have one last question. I just want to know if anyone has read your script yet. Um, <laughs> because if they haven't, I'm happy to read it. Um, I can't do anything with it because I'm a nobody, but I'm going to read it if it's going to. Well, all I'm going to say is that every nobody is going to be somebody. So maybe, yeah, you know, maybe you're going to be, maybe you're going to run into Will Smith on the street and you're going to say, Will, I have this great script. And if that happens, <laughs> I'll give you a part. So. Well, I say that because I, I, I go horse riding and I ride by his house. And one day we'll be able to pass. How much, how much money would I have to pay you to throw the script into the <laughs> None. You just have to give me a part in it when it gets made. You can, if you get Will Smith, you can play any part. You can even play me. Will Smith is the best. <laughs> I'm trying Michelle as yeah. Michael Bloomy would. Yeah. I'll play someone else. Awesome. I love it. Well, guys, we are out of time. Um, I so love talking to you guys. It was awesome. And thank you so much for um, coming to First Glance and sharing your brilliant um, web series with us. Um, I want to see the rest. Um, where can people see it? You can see it on YouTube or if you go to www.bloomywood.com, that will link you to our, our YouTube and the rest of the episodes. Amazing, brilliant. Thank you so much, guys. Um, good luck with it. Um, I wish you all the best. And I'm really grateful that you took time out to come speak to me today. Thank Thanks, you so much. Michelle. It's been great. Thank you. Bye, Looking forward to seeing everything. Bye.